So here I have a single solar cell. You can see it's not very big, about an inch and a half long, uh, three, four centimeters long. And it's supposed to produce something like 300 milliamps at half a volt. And we got that connected to our jewel thief. Let's see if when I put it out in the sunlight, yes, there it is working on a very tiny amount of electricity. So, jewel thief plus one very small solar cell works. And this is our uh, jewel thief, our Peltier cooler, or Peltier device, and an ice cube. And there we go. It'll run until the tile starts to cool off and then it will slow down. And here's the typical uh, light, the jewel thief with a dead battery. You can see this is actually corroding. So yeah, it's about as dead as you can get. Don't recommend doing this. It's not good for the skin. This stuff is pretty toxic. And it's coming off on me. Okay, if I can get it on there. And there's the jewel thief lighting up from the dead battery. Okay, so that's kind of our baseline. And how about we try a little electric motor as a generator for our jewel thief. Yeah, you can see it barely lighting up. But if you turn it the other way, it doesn't light up at all. If you turn it this way, it lights up. So it's got a kind of direction that it works. Okay, so we can power it. We could put a propeller or something on there and spin it with the, with the air and produce a little electricity for our jewel thief. Also, we've shown that we can light our jewel thief with heat, with uh, magnetism, that's the generator, and with uh, chemical energy, that's the dying battery. So, uh, the only thing we're missing is, I think, nuclear and gravity. <laughs> I'll work on those. Okay, well, I hope you found it useful and interesting in your jewel thief experiments.